All right, uh, let's look at the homework nine, problem number 30. All right, so the derivative of uh, e, uh, e is the uh, projected enrollment in t, uh, in t years. And if the enrollment is 5,000 uh, when t equals zero, then we want to find the project projected enrollment uh, after 32 years. All right, so uh, let's do that. So we are basically looking for uh, e of 32. All right, this is what we are looking for. Right, all right. So we have to find the e. All right. So if you take the antiderivative of e, a uh, derivative of e, so it's going to be antiderivative. Right. You have a six thousand, and you have a t plus four raised it to the negative three over two, and then with respect to t. All right. So uh, let's do that. All right. Um, 6,000 is just a number, so I'll just put that in front, all right? So uh, if you take the antiderivative, you're going to get, uh, let's see, uh, we can just use the power rule, all right? So um, uh, add 1 to the power, so it's going to be ne uh, negative 1 half, and divided by negative 1 half is same thing as multiply, uh, maybe I'll just do that first, uh, negative 1 half. And then uh, you have a plus some constant c, all right? So uh, let's clean this up a little bit, all right? So this is going to be, all right, uh, this is going to be negative because uh, there's a negative sign here, all right? And then uh, we have 6,000 divided by 1 half, which is the same thing as multiplied by 2, so it's going to be 12,000, right? Then we would have um, t plus 4 raised it to the negative 1 half power. All right? Then uh, plus some constant c. So we have to find the constant c using the initial condition. All right? It says that the, when uh, a t equals 0, so e of 0, all right? So if you plug in 0 here, uh, you're going to get, uh, let's see, negative. Uh, 12,000, all right, here, uh, if you plug in 0, so that's going to be 4 to the negative 1 half power, all right, so 1 half power is square root, so square root of 4 is 2, but the negative power, so it's reciprocal, it's 1 half, so it's going to be divided by 2 plus c, which is going to be negative 6,000 plus c, and this is going to be equal to 5,000, right? Because it's a moment 5,000. So we can uh, find C by simply adding 6,000. So C is going to be 11,000, right? So we have a E. So E of T is found to be negative 12,000 T plus 4 to the negative one half uh, plus uh, 11,000, all right? So uh, let's, uh, let's find the um, uh, E of 32. So E of 32, so it's a projected enrollment in 32 years. So it's gonna be negative 12,000. And if you plug in 32, 32 plus four, so it's gonna be 36 to the negative one-half power plus 11,000, all right? So we might be able to do this by hand. So it's going to be a negative 12,000, all right? So 36, uh, then take the square root, so that's 6, and the reciprocal, so it's going to be 1 over 6, and plus 11,000. So this is going to be, uh, let's see, so negative uh, 2,000. All right, and plus 11,000. So that's going to be 9,000. All right, so the projected enrollment after 32 years would be 9,000. All right, let's type it in. Uh, answer is 9,000. All right, let's check the answer. Got that. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.